Prince Harry and Serena Williams' friendship is one in which any single person can dream about having with the people close around them. Truly, both of them are great, great friends. Now, Prince Harry and Serena Williams talk bettering their mental health in candid conversations. It starts internally. In yesterday's event, Better Up event, with Alexi, Robbie Chaw, Prince Harry, and Serena Williams, who took part in the inaugural Inner Work Conference. Now, the three discussed the importance of doing work on yourself to prevent burnout and improve your mental health. Now, sometimes we may face burnout in our work places, in every single thing that we do, whether it's going to work, waking up at 8 a.m. in the morning just to go to work. We do it because we have to. But there are those days when some of us don't even feel like waking up in the morning to go to work. Sometimes I've even faced some burnout in posting YouTube videos. But the fight keeps on continuing, for instance. The fight between good and evil keeps on continuing. And we cannot relent even for just a bit or even pause the fight even for a bit. Now, I love that Prince Harry addressed and talked about burnout. And that focusing on your mental health will help improve and even prevent burnout. Now, Prince Harry, Meghan, Alexi talked about the importance of doing work on yourself to prevent burnout and improve your mental health. Prince Harry Hajj people should make time for themselves using himself as an example of reaching burnout. Now, Prince Harry shared his personal experience of, you know, reaching burnout and used himself as an example. He said he was burning the candle at both ends and was forced to look inward it in our work was the only way to get control i love i just love how open prince harry was at the event i love how open he always is in expressing himself i love that i love that so much about prince harry so i'd like it for you each and every single one of you at the end of this eight or ten minute video podcast that I'm going to be sharing with all of you today is the fact that I want you to share your personal experiences of burnout, whether it's in your workplace or in your personal life. Share your experience at the comment section and tell us how you handled it or how you addressed burnout in the workplace or in your personal life or in any activity you enjoyed doing. Please share it in the comment section. Now, as Harry said, he was burning the candle at both ends and was forced to look in a work was the only way to get control. Williams, as a top performing athlete, was pulled in so many different directions. I'm super strategic. I take me time. Serena Williams explained. And a few days ago, someone told me something special. Brian, you need to love yourself. You need to care about yourself. Even when you care about others and the people around you, you also need to love yourself. You need to value yourself. You need to appreciate yourself. And I want to tell each and every single one of you the same, same thing. Serena Williams has said that she values her own time. She values her me time. She gets her me time. We should all aspire to value and spare some time for ourselves, for our family, for ourselves. Just have your own personal me time. Value your mental health. So, as Serena Williams said, and I quote, What really is important is focusing on me and me time. Boundaries are so important to have. If you don't have boundaries, you aren't going to reach what you can do. I repeat, she said this, Boundaries are so important to have. If you don't have boundaries, you aren't going to reach what you can do. The tennis professional gave advice on setting the boundaries. I love that. I love that. Setting boundaries in your life. Allow me to say, say a word about my personal experience. Or better yet, let's talk about our favorite royals, Prince Harry and Meghan's personal experiences. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan, after experiencing you know, racism, abuse, when they talked about it in the Oprah interview from the royal family, the 
constant abuse that Megan was subjected to and the constant racism, the questioning of Archie's skin color, the fear that Megan had when she gave birth to her son, baby Archie, that she was afraid of offering him up to the UK tabloids and the world to even show him because of the constant relentless bullying that she had been subjected to at the hands of UK tabloids and even members of the firm. She, she talked about that moment in the Oprah interview. Now, they've been through a lot and they've set boundaries for themselves. Prince Harry and Meghan say, no, this is toxic. This is so much damaging to my mental health. Harry even talked about it in an interview with James Corden. He said, it was too toxic. It was too toxic. The tabloids, you know how they are. They're so toxic. And we had to just get away from that to protect our mental health. And I love that. I love that. See, it's about setting boundaries. So setting boundaries for yourself. If you're not okay with something, then cut it off. If something is not working out for you, if something that is not good to you, or you're in a workplace where you're being bullied or treated, demeaned, you're being treated so, so poorly, even by people that call themselves members of your family. Set boundaries for your life. Look at what happened to Britney Spears with Jamie Spears. I think that's a perfect, perfect example of the need to set boundaries. Britney Spears worked all her life. She worked all her life. She became a successful singer. One day, she signed... Actually, what she did was sign over control and gave up a power of attorney to Jamie Spears to manage her assets and every single thing like that. And not only was she stolen from, she was robbed. Many, many things she went through. She went through a lot of so much pain and suffering at that hands. According to even recent revelations, revelations that have been revealed recently, Jamie Spears even gave money to TMZ to publicly harass Britney Spears and cause her so much pain. Gave money to TMZ. These tabloids in the US, for instance, the TMZ, actually now TMZ is owned by Rupert Murdoch now. And the same Rupert Murdoch, the same TMZ that actually threatened Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas to release information that they were having a baby via surrogate, which has now been revealed that they had to re list the information, otherwise TMZ would do it for them. Okay, we all want to know about our personal lives of the public figures we so deeply love. We all want to. But when they set boundaries for themselves, as Prince Harry and Meghan have set for themselves, we need to respect those boundaries that they both have set. For instance, a few days ago, you know, I've seen some channels also posting, you know, paparazzi pictures of Megan. I, you know, I love to see Megan every single day. I love it. I love to post her pictures every single day. I've talked about it basically in previous videos of the tabloids, you know, popping Megan while walking her son to school. I love, I love it to post such pictures, but I don't post them on my timeline, on my channel, out of respect for Prince Harry and Meghan, the respect that I have for them, the respect, love, and admiration I have for each and every single one of them. I call out UK tabloids what they have done to them, the constant disrespect of the boundaries set by Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I respect the boundaries that they have set for themselves and for their children, Archie and Little Bit Diana. I respect that 100%. So in as much as we want to, to post some pictures. That's why even in some of my videos, I said, I, I say, and I write in a text, a text, and I say, I will not post the paparazzi pictures. I do that out of respect for Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Britney Spears has now set boundaries with Jamie Spears, even her sisters. She said she set boundaries that want to profit from Britney Spears' pain. She set boundaries in her life. Megan's and Prince Harry have set boundaries by putting an ocean away from them with the people causing them harm. The tabloids, the farm, they've put an ocean far, far away from them. They fled the UK to protect their mental health, to flee an abusive and toxic environment. And I respect that for, for them. They've set boundaries in their 
lives. Now, Serena Williams said this. Don't send emails on setting boundaries for herself. She said, don't send emails to me at 11 p.m. You will burn out. That's what she said. She does not like being sent emails at 11 a.m. Harry agreed with Williams on setting boundaries and knowing what you can take on. And he said, and I quote, it starts at home. It starts internal. He also shared how his day goes and how he fits time in for self-reflection. When, and I quote, Prince Harry said this, and I quote, One of the kids have gone to school. One is having a nap, sleeping. I love this. I love it when he shares these beautiful details of his children, Archie and little bit Diana, whom we all love and support. We supported this couple for a long time and we'll support them for a long, long time. A website is coming, as I've said in a previous video. A website is coming in which all of us can share our views. You can write your own article and send it to me and I'll post it on our website for you. For you to see anything, your personal views, your ideas. You can share it with me and I'll even post it for you. When the website comes, I'll tell all of you about it when it comes. So please kindly be patient. Even I'm also patient, believe me. But I can't wait to have our own website where we can all just share our views, our personal ideas and everything like that. Now, Archie goes to school and I love that. I love just listening about it. And little bit Diana takes a nap. So Prince Harry said that he will then carve out 30 to 45 minutes to take the dog for a walk or even meditate. Elsewhere in the conversation, Harry and William spoke about maintaining good mental health, even when times get hard, such as losses on the tennis court. And, and I quote, when it comes to losing, Serena Williams said this, I hate that word. I want to coin it a growing experience. William said, as much as I hate it, I have learned so much. He said, losses are important. Learn from them. Learn from losses. Learn from it. Now, Serena Williams, Prince Harry both have a great, incredible friendship. And to the point that they were talking and they said that, sorry, we can talk for hours because both of them are deeply, deeply passionate for their work and what they do. Harry is passionate about advocating for mental health. I love it about him. He's a chief impact officer at Better Up. I love that. Now, even William said this about Prince Harry, that Harry is always solving all my problems. You know, the, the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan have dedicated their lives to a life of service, and we see that in real time, even people like Serena Williams talking about how Harry helps him, help, helps her out, Serena Williams. Serena Williams, of all people, an incredible tennis actor, tennis player, forgive me, an incredible tennis player Serena Williams she also has problems like the rest of us and she asks Prince Harry to help and Harry helps and is always ready to assist Serena Williams helping solve all her problems now William said of Harry's improvement through the better app you are just always figuring it out for me Harry gave credit to Williams for doing the work herself, but joked that she should be on Better Up's coaching board. And you can be sure, truly, Prince Harry has earned it. He's doing a great job. You know, one thing that I want to share with you all is that when Prince Harry joined Better Up, actually a few months after that, Better Up's valuation has actually quadrupled, quadrupled in value. So I sincerely hope Prince Harry and Meghan are paid in stocks. I really, really hope. I can honestly hope that. Now, Prince Harry said this, and I quote, I don't have it sorted. Serena doesn't have it sorted. None of us do. Life is about discovery. Harry concluded, noting that one of the best things he has learned to do is turn a negative into a positive. It feels like a superpower. It's work, but out of all the work we do, it is the most fulfilling, Harry said, apart from being a dad. I love it. I love this. I love this conversation. If you didn't watch it, please just go ahead and re-watch it. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful conversation. And I loved every single 
part of it. I loved every single part of it. Harry loves being a dad. I always say this about Prince Harry. A great husband and even a great father. And truly, Archie and Diana are indeed blessed. Harry, Archie, Lil Diana, Megan, Doria, they're all blessed. And may they continue thriving. And most importantly, being happy. May they be blessed. May they be blessed. May they continue being happy. I want that from them. I want them to just continue being happy. And I, lo and I love this. I love the conversation. How many of you have watched the conversation? Because it was amazing. The Better Up in a Work event, it was amazing. And I personally learned a lot. I've actually shared my experiences with all of you. My personal personal experiences with all of you and I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. It was absolutely fantastic. It was it was very, very, very fantastic. Obviously, there'll be those who will just take an opportunity to hate on Prince Harry. There's no there are no shortage of haters. There will never be any shortage of haters. They will never ever stop. Okay? The tablets are already trying to, you know inside hate towards Prince Harry. They're basically waiting every single moment to just incite hate because they have orders from the royal family, the farm, and also the establishment, even the government itself. They have orders to, you know, bully Harry to deflect from the constant Partygate scandals in the UK government by Boris Johnson, um, whose sister actually throw, threw in some racial abuse towards me again. So, you will always expect this from them. They are abusive. They will always be expected. And what we simply need to all do is today, let's focus on the positive. Whenever we hear about Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, let's dedicate our time to advocating and promoting every single thing that they both say whenever we hear from them. But also, never ever shy away from expressing our personal opinions if we don't like something that has happened. If you see an injustice, talk about it. Because keeping silent is actually helping the aggressor. Okay? And the fact that the UK tabloids think that Harry is speaking to UK media, UK tabloids, and it's actually, you know, the obsession continues. Harry wants nothing to do with them, but they can't accept. Oh, Harry is speaking to us. It's about us. It's about us. Harry is speaking to, to us. He's talking about us. When Prince Harry clearly isn't addressing or wants nothing to do with the UK tabloids, you know, they clearly have never been able to understand why Harry and Meghan, actually Harry dumped them. They can't get over it and will never ever be able to get over it. They'll never be able to get over it. Now, I went to Twitter to hear some of the comments and to listen to see some of the comments. And as obviously, there'll always be those that are abusive. And even someone called Anna said this. What I'm learning from the comments on British media tweets about Prince Harry at Better Up in a workday is there are a lot of employers, employers who don't offer anything to their employees for their personal growth or well-being. And of course, somehow, that's Harry's fault. The constant blaming of Harry and Meghan, you know, they, they just want to destroy Harry and Meghan. They've never been able to. I mean, Meghan almost has suicidal thoughts. They almost succeeded in destroying her completely, but they failed. Harry and Meghan put an ocean away from the UK, far away from them, and went to live in the United States of America, which is what they were told, basically, when they were being harassed every single day. But still, they just won't let go. They won't let go. They can't stand that, the fact that a member of the royal family escaped. You know, they live in this fishbowl. So whenever someone escapes, it's, it's deemed a threat to, to the establishment of how they operate or how they behave. They never expected a husband to protect his wife and son. They never expected it. If there's something that they've never been able to accept, is the fact that Harry stood up for his wife and child. They'll never be able to accept that. He is the father. He is the husband that Princess Diana never had. Prince Harry is the husband to Meghan that Princess Diana never had. 
from Charles. Is the true prince a true blood prince? And he truly is a good man and a great father. And UK tablets wanted to destroy this great man. Like they've destroyed so many. Like they destroyed his mother, chasing her to her death. They've tried to do the same to, thing to his wife and they have failed. And that's something that they'll never be able to get away with. They'll never be able to get over with. They'll never be able to get over with. And even now, they're still continuing. And what I liked about yesterday's Better Up is just seeing Harry's happiness, Harry's glow, the enthusiasm of his work and what he does. And I learned so much from yesterday, from today's podcast, actually, with Better Up. Now, am I the only one who wanted this conversation to continue for another hour? It was such an amazing panel and enlightening discussion. Someone said this, called Marcia, on Twitter. Love at Serena Williams and at Prince Harry's friendship. Great job at Better Up in a Works Day. It was a fantastic, fantastic interview. I loved it. It was fantastic. I learned a lot. Okay? Now, Prince Harry, an ex-Apache pilot, spearheaded in creating HeadFit mental health tool used by the military. Founder of Invictus Game, Santa Bell. ETC. His foundation is also helping the NHS workers. Yes, he knows what burnout is. Currently, an entrepreneur, an employee paying taxes. And I love that. I love that. I love, I love that. We love that Prince Harry is talking about burnout. It's a very real and debilitating mental state. And the more we talk about it, the more we can all connect. We've got some tips to help you out if you need it. Burnout Friday feeling, time to talk. Now, there are six, six tips to kill burnout. Take, you know, like uh, breaks more often. Schedule social calls. Go on nature. Walks, meditate. Maintain good sleeping habits and ask for help. And I love, and I love that. I love that. Prince Harry has an actual job now. He has a job in the United States of America with Better Up. He's working to put food on the table for his family and he knows what burnout is. He knows what burnout is. And we all need to love and value ourselves. We need to protect our mental health. We need to protect our mental health space and love ourselves. We all need to love ourselves in as much as we love one another. We also need to love ourselves. Love our family and love each other. And I'm so happy and proud of every single thing that Prince Harry is accomplishing in the US. I'm glad about every single milestone, every single accomplishment he makes. Be sure about one thing, I will be there to support Prince Harry whenever, wherever. Whenever, wherever, I'll always be there to support. Correction, we at the Squad community will always be here to support Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and that is of Sussex, and just seeing them prosper. Well, that's what we want for them, for them to prosper and be happy. With so much love from Sussex Family TV, stay tuned to our next video. Kindly like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Stay tuned to our next video.